Okie dokie. What am I playing? I saw that this was free on Steam. Okay, so I took it. All right. What are my settings? Unseen, skip after, un skip unseen text after choices. Uh, sure, new game, enter my name. Uh, Big B. I'm Big B, nice to meet you. Uh, hey! That's gonna bother me. I can't. I just dropped something and now I can't find it. I'm sorry. I see an annoying girl running toward me from from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sa Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's it just kind of works out because you've never known each other for so long. We used to talk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we she would never sleep o oversleep more and more frequently. I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha <sighs> ha I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe. Only because I didn't decide to stop and wait for you. Eh. You said like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's me, Big B. Well, people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to have it in you to be mean. Even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hee hee! We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Bigby, have you decided on a club to join yet? A cl uh, club? I told you already, I'm not really I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you, you would join a club this year. Did I did? I'm sure it's possible that I did. One one of our many conversations where I dismiss, dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry, Sorry likes to worry about a little too much about me. I'm perfectly content just getting getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Wow, this is a little deep, man. Uh huh. I was talking. Talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Man, that's deep. Your happiness is really important to me. As far as you know. I know you're happy now, but... I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. The fuck is a neat? Trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises though. Will you at least promise you'll you'll try you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I can promise you that. Yee! How do I get myself lectured by such a carefree girl? On that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. School day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking at an, an ounce of motivation. Clubs. So he really wants me to check out some clubs. I like how I just say that out loud, just sitting there staring out the window. Clubs. Guess I have no choice. But start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look all around and realize I'm the only one left in class. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if I'm going to make you late to your own club. 
Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. No, what? Well, that you could come to my club, Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Hey, meanie. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Well, this is Doki Doki Literature Club, so I wonder what fucking club I'm going to be joining. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would have it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Siori is really happy that much or... I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so cunning that has to plan this all out. <sighs> Fine. Stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yee! Let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of, of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Theory full of energy swings open the door to the classroom. Everyone, a new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the literature club. Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure to meet you, girl one. Theory always says nice things about you. Seriously, you brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Bigby, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Hmm? All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she need when she gets moody. Sayori says says that's quite in, says that quietly into my ear and then turns back to the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you really... You already know Monica. Monica? Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Bigby. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... You too, Monica. Come, sit down. Big B, we made room for you. At the tables. So you can sit next to me and Mon or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry. I got a little too excited. How about I take... I make some tea as well. Let's have a few desks arranged for, to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monika and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walked over th to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabbed grabs a wrapped t tray. Hold on, I am I can't read today. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Yasayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! What? Natsuki lifts the foil from the tray and reveals a dozen white 
fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little kitty cat. Aww. Whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Aww. So cute. So pretty and cute. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know, this bitch has fangs. This bitch has fangs. God damn it. Just hurry up. Just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then Monika. I follow. It's delicious. Sayori, Sayori talks with her mouth full. And has already, already managed to get frosting on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking a glance in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? I made them for you or anything. Uh, I thought you technically did say or eat said well maybe but not for you no you dummy all right all right I give up on the Nasuki's weird logic and dismiss this conversation Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray you keep a whole can't you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teacher gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I... I guess? <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, <laughs> that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad... Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monika raises an eyebrow, then smiles at you. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monika that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. Well, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. This is a psychological horror, by the way. I just want to point that out. I have yet to get into any psychological horror into this aspect yet. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the de debate club last year? Ah, ha, 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 ha. Well, you know... To be honest, I can't stand all the politics from one of the major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare the for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised that I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Bigby, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how, how little I've read these past few years, I don't really know I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? 
I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build up in a, that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind the, them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on completely passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you off you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh! Oh! Ah! I read a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I can relate to at the minimum, at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as, might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you? I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why's that? Well, I just... Matsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap people behind, last, behind the last club meeting. You looked like you were looking at a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Give it back. Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems... Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori... Sayori sides up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki... You write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them? Ah. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing what to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Aw, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look, look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then next time we meet, we'll, we'll share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have the new member, I think it will help us get a little bit more comfortable with each other. Strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Bigby? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I've only come forth with what's been on my mind this, the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have convinced me to stop by, but I never s made any decision. I still other clubs to look at, and, um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, I'm sorry, I thought... Hmm. Big B. You all... I... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to be in a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, writing poems is the price I need to pay in, in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. And on that note... On that note... Oh, what the fuck is the story, man? It's supposed to be a psychological horror. I've read, nine, I've read about 20 minutes of this. <laughs> All I've gotten is one little glimpse of horror. About reading horror. That's about it. So, I'll see you all guys next time on Doki Doki Literature Club. Have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.